I'm really delighted to be here, Will, and I'm so happy that you want to know know about your past, Poppy's past. I hope that I can answer your questions. Uh, as you know, it was 11 years ago this past Thanksgiving, last month that he was gone, and I started thinking last week of all the things that I never asked him. So let's go ahead and see what you find. I appreciate your thinking about questions as I'm developing AaronToldStories.com and I want to help people and kinds of things they might be asking. So go for it. I'll say I've had a little bit of time to think about this. I have uh, multiple times I was supposed to give you what I was thinking and we uh, was like, okay, let's push it off until our visit. So here we go. And these questions are going to be more centered around not him as a person, more of your relationship together. Okay. And... I think you'll see parts of his personality present themselves within that. Uh, so I'm a little bit familiar with the pretensive YouTube meeting, it being a blind date. I wanted, I've never actually heard the story of that date, of y'all's of y first date together, and I kind of wanted to hear how that went. Interesting. Well, you want that story of how it happened? <laughs> uh, Poppy was living in New York, and I was a junior, and he had been going to Philadelphia Textile Institute, and he had come out of the Army, and there was nothing in textiles in Philadelphia, so we went to New York. He also had an avocation of photography, and people were saying he should go into that professionally. We can talk later about all the times he carried around his camera, etc. But he looked around, and he saw people... He felt were more talented than he that were not making money. And so he went into his chosen field of textiles. Uh, he was dating New York girls, got tired of them, and started coming home to Philadelphia on weekends. And as I said, I was a ju uh, sophomore, junior at Temple University, and I was just finishing my junior year. And I ran into a friend of mine. Debbie Medvine in Mitten Hall, the social hall at Temple. And we talked for a few minutes. I knew her from high school. And next thing I know, she said she was sitting on her toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and she thought about me for uh, Bobby. Uh, Sam was her fiance's best friend, childhood friend growing up, and they had been in the Army together. And... Uh, and they fixed us up on a blind date. Uh, we went to, we went out, he came home on Friday, and we went out to I, some, on a bar, uh, when drinking. I don't even remember that much about it. What I do know then, on Saturday, we went out again, and we went out again on Sunday. And we started writing, uh, Notes. I think he wrote almost daily, and I wrote daily. If that was, of course, way before we're talking 1960. So this is, I don't know, what was that, 50, 58 years ago? Yeah. And uh, he would come home Fridays on the weekends. And that was before, of course, email and phone calls were very expensive, and that's how we communicated. And... I don't remember what we did on different weekends. I just know our writing became a little bit more intimate. And uh, six weeks after we met, he asked me to marry him. I maybe sort of asked him to marry me. We had some really, I can actually put together uh, the letters that he wrote and letters from Sam and things I did. I'll be glad to give you a copy. And you can pick up some of that. And um, three months after we became engaged, it was Memorial Day weekend uh, that we became engaged. And three months after that, in the end of August, we got married. Is there, so, does that kind of fill you in? I'd say so. I knew it was a pretty quick turnaround from meeting to being wed. Uh, and with it being so quick, did you not have any doubt that you were jumping to... You weren't, uh, you didn't have any anxieties about jumping into something so quickly. 
that was going to. No, I know. Think so. And we we have been gotten so close with the writing and the mailing. And I wrote a kind of that I sent him at one point. I'll share. It's sort of. I'll explain to you privately kind of the poem I wrote to him that kind of expressed that. And he just opened me up to who I was. And it was a real missing when we weren't together. So I don't think either of us ever thought about that. Um, he was 28. I was 20. I um, don't know. I mean, in the Army, he had a girlfriend in Germany. And I don't know that he had any long relationships prior to ours so we were just meant to be and a friend of mine once told me years later that she thought his purpose in life was to fulfill me and I think that was pretty special so thanks for asking and I'm gonna we'll do another question